I am your host, Asa Kane. In this episode, we are going to examine XRP. Now, before we begin, if you have not done so already, be sure to hit the like button, which is the thumbs up icon that you see located directly up underneath our video right there. What it does is it helps to share our video with others just like yourself who are new and want to start learning as much as they can today. Also, if you haven't, be sure to click our subscribe button, which is what you see right there, our logo located in the lower right hand corner of your screen. What this does for you, it ensures that you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now, what is XRP? To begin with, it is important to understand the difference between XRP, Ripple, and RippleNet. XRP is the currency that runs on a digital payment platform called RippleNet, which is on top of a distributed ledger database called XRP Ledger, while RippleNet is run by a company called Ripple. The XRP ledger is open source and, and is not based on blockchain, but rather the previously mentioned distributed ledger database. The RippleNet payment platform is a real-time gross settlement, RTGS for short, system that aims to enable instant monetary transactions globally. While XRP is the cryptocurrency native to the XRP ledger, you can actually use any currency to transact on the platform. While the idea behind the Ripple payment platform was first voiced in 2004 by Ryan Fugger, it wasn't until Jed McCaleb and Chris Larson took over the project in 2012 that Ripple began to be built. At that time, it was also called OpenCoin. Now, this is Jed McCaleb right here. You can see his net worth. He is on the Forbes list. He's a younger guy, as you can see. And this is Chris Larson, his co-founder. And there's his estimated net worth. I don't know how accurate that is, but you can do a little bit more digging. Now, how does XRP work? XRP was created by Ripple to be a speedy, less costly, and more scalable alternative to both other digital assets and existing monetary platforms like SWIFT. RippleNet's ledger is maintained by the global XRP community, with Ripple the company as an active member. The XRP ledger processes transactions roughly every three to five seconds, or whenever independent validator nodes come to a consensus on both the order and validity of XRP transactions, as opposed to proof of work mining like Bitcoin. Anyone can be a Ripple validator, and the list is currently made up of Ripple, along with universities, financial institutions, and others. Now, I'm showing you here, you can see where the 150 plus validators are globally. You see the lights blinking all over the map. Those are actual validators. And you can see here, the stable, which breaks down the roadmap of Ripple. And then here, the metrics of XRP. Now here, let's get into the specifics. As of today, Monday, January the 24th, the cost per XRP token is 61 cents. It is currently ranked number seven out of over 15,000 coins on the market today when we go down here in the middle of left we can see the market cap is 29.2 billion with a b and that is verified through coin market cap 
we can see the 24 hour volume here 2.7 billion up 54 percent that is how much was traded in the last 24 hours then over here to the right we can see the circulating supply of xrp is 47.7 billion and the max supply is 100 billion so just under 50 percent currently in investor hands and that is verified through coin market cap now I'm going to show you here over the last 90 days XRP just the, as most the vast majority of, of uh, tokens today are down over the last several months now if you look here you can see over the last year it is up a little over 100 percent 115 percent started out at 26 cents on january the 25th last year it reached that high on april the 14th of a dollar 83 and it has since lowered to its current price of 61 cents so it's down from its all-time high to a little less than a third of its all-time high if you believe that it's going to get back close to that then you may want to pick up some tokens and if you do you can get them on binance binance as you know is the largest exchange in the world i've included a link to them in this video's description simply click on there and also you cannot get xrp on coinbase but by using our link to sign up for an account you can earn 40 dollars in free coins also with crypto.com use our link to sign up you'll get $25 in free crypto and one other thing that I want to go over especially with you newcomers to the channel it is very important to protect what you have the only way to do so is to get your own cold storage wallet now ledger is one of the leading worldwide manufacturers of cold storage wallets They've got several different models to choose from. You move your tokens onto your, your cold storage wallet. You're able to take it with you wherever you go in the world. It's the only way to keep what you have safe. Um, one other thing, whether you get it today or next week, make sure that you get it from an authorized retailer, not Amazon, not eBay because that would be meaning that you're not the original owner and you would be compromising everything you have now i also wanted to include this article on zy crypto xrp overtakes so as you can see here and this is in the last over the weekend over the last couple of days now the solana blockchain suffered another incident that clogged the network and hindered DeFi users from adjusting their collateralized positions. The latest Solana network issue came amid the ruthless crypto market route, which was mm -hmm. all last week so far. But this article just shows you how one cause and effect throughout the market because Solana was one of last year's biggest performers and we did do a video on Solana which you can I'll include a link to that in this description as well and then once we go down here it just kind of goes into that in further detail now before we end make sure that you subscribe you don't want to miss out on any upcoming episodes you definitely don't and also if this has been of value to you, you can contribute to the channel by Cash App. You can also contribute using our ERC20 link, token link. Uh, we accept Ethereum, Hex, every ERC20 token. 
it helps us to create more valuable content for you and we're just getting started now until next time which will be our next episode will be Thursday at the same time so definitely make sure that you subscribe and you set your timer until next time get in there and make it happen